On behalf of MeBorrow.com and FlexWorthy.com, this is a UFC fight night. Derek Brunson versus Ronaldo Dracre Souza fight night. This is a racial acceptance zone, so everybody gets an N-word pass. There ain't nobody reporting nothing in the comment section. And we're going to break down this fight exactly who I'm going to win. I'm going to tell you who I think is going to win. On top of that, I'm going to give you the reality section, okay? Because I have very, very biased picks. Very biased picks. So let's go straight to the top. The ones you motherfuckers give a fuck about the most, okay? So who is this? Souza and Brunson. Now, I got Ronaldo winning this by submission. He knocked him out last time they fought in Strike Force, which the Strike Force was so long ago. But he knocked him out in Strike Force. First round. Um, but this is a new Derek Brunson we're talking about here. You know, this is, he like to dance and shit now. You know, this is a new Derek Brunson we're talking about here. So, you know, he don't, I don't think he's going to want to lead us to the judges. But, he can't really play it safe. You know, we know that uh, Souza can get knocked the fuck out. And he can get him up out of there. And maybe he can get him out of there in the second or third round. It's a five round fight, Derek. A five round fight. If you want to win this, you're going to have to take this slow. You're not going to be able to just go in there and just kind of like steamroll him. You know, but you're going to have to apply some sort of pressure. But he's not. Everybody knows that Souza is the best striker. He's like another Damian Maya, for real. Let's be honest. Let's be honest. He's another Damian Maya. So, for you to be in there rushing him and get folded up, this probably was going to happen. I'd probably say, I'm calling this um, Souza, I want to say third, if not fourth round submission. I don't see him getting a TKO over Derek Brunson again. Maybe a TKO, yeah, but not no knockout because Derek, he... Mm -mm. He shouldn't be going. He shouldn't be going for that shit no more. But I'm definitely rooting for uh, Brunson. Of course, I'm rooting for Brunson. I want Brunson to win. But if he's gonna win, it's probably gonna be via decision. If he can make it that long, if I'm not even sure. After Ngannou, I'm not even sure about black people's cardio no more. <laughs> I'm not even sure. Like that. That was just so upsetting. Okay, Dennis Bermudez and Andre Feely. The UFC wants Feely to win. Of course, he's a more marketable motherfucker. But Dennis Bermudez is going to put that grown man on him. Okay, we know what's about to happen. He's going to put a lot of experience on Feely and send him straight the fuck back to uh, some lower class people. Does Andre Feely deserve to be up top? Of course he does. He's a good fighter. Definitely a good fighter. So, um, reality section Dennis Bermudez by fucking knockout. What the UFC wants to happen is uh, Feely by. Um, Knockout, but uh, Dennis, knockout, third round. Or TKO. If not, knockout by the first round. It's, it's real possible you can get knocked out by the first round. Okay, Jordan, Rinaldi, and, and Gregor, Giuseppe. Gregor looks cooler, so I'm going with Gregor. Um, and, you know, he got the McGregor kind of thing in his first name. He got excellent tattoos. Um, you know, you shouldn't pick by the color of the horse. Somebody said that in the comments last week. Uh, you shouldn't pick by the color of the horse, but um, picking by the color of the horse this time. This one has better tattoos. He's more marketable. We need more marketable people. So I'm I'm going with I'm going with Gregor, man. He he looks cooler. Drew Dober and Frank. Okay, so I met Drew Dober. He's really cool. He's about this tall. Okay, he's a really cool guy. Really stocky fit guy though. Really cool. He was in Cleveland. He was at uh, UFC 203. I got the poster back there. He's down here in Cleveland 203. Really cool guy. I'm going to definitely root for him. You know what I'm saying? I don't always root for black people or black-ish people when I know the white guy is cool. And Drew Dermer is definitely cool. I definitely want to see him rise in the rankings. He had that one fight where he kicked dude in the nuts and shit. And uh, it was like a stoppage because of that. Ah! What are you trying to call a fight? Ah! Shit happens. Drew Dober's the fucking man. I'm rooting for Drew, Drew Dober by, um, he'll probably lose by decision, reality section, but Drew Dober by third round submission. Oh, Eric Koch and Bobby Green. Bobby Green needs this victory so motherfucking bad, okay? So motherfucking bad. He needs this shit bad as fuck, okay? I want him to win, not just because he's black, but because if he loses, he's probably gonna get kicked out of the UFC. He can't just keep losing like this. You can't just keep fucking losing like this. But Eric looks so fucking cool. This motherfucker looks so fucking cool. Mm, 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 mm. 
What's going to happen? Uh, Bobby Green is going to lose by decision, if not TKO, by the second round. He'll use TKO by second round or decision. But uh, what I want to win is Bobby to just fucking win. Just, just win a fight, please. Win a fight. Just win a fight. Bruh, any fight. Any fight. Just win a fight. You make me want to go into UFC and just let you beat me up, bruh. Just, damn. Okay, Mizrad Beltic and uh, this other Gufagato. I don't know, but this Gufagato guy, he looks like um, he looks like Mike Petty. I wish Darren Till and Mike Perry fight so bad. I wasn't in a fight so bad. Mike Petty, you and me were meant to fight. Yeah, he looks like Mike Perry, and we need more characters. So I'm going to definitely root for Mike Perry. And on top of that, he's Brazilian. Y'all know I don't root against Brazilians. Y'all know I don't root against Brazilians at all. Okay, Caitlin. Ch Ooh, these last names be killing me. I'm like a fucking substitute teacher at a ghetto high school, yo. <laughs> I'm not good with these, but I'm gonna go with Mara because she's cuter. But like y'all know, the ugly girls can fight. Them cyborg looking ones, they got the hands. You already know. So you know, is the gay ones and the ugly ones can fight, yo. They can fight. You know, the cute ones ain't all that. So what's gonna happen? Caitlyn is probably gonna win by boring ass decision. But um, Mira, pull it through, baby. Come on, do one for the cute girls. UFC needs you. UFC needs you right about now. We need you, baby. Randa Marcos is one I really would, would like to see win. She's Iraqi. Juliana Lima. Okay. So we got a Brazilian. Y'all know I don't root against Brazilians. But this is a red-headed Arabic woman. Whew. And she is... She's all right. She all right. Look at she all right. She all right. Um, quiet Storm. Let's look. Accuracy. Exorb. Um, it depends. She says Jutai. So, which means she's probably got really good stand up. Um, if Marcos, I don't know if she got a really good takedown. Uh, takedown accuracy is 30. About even. And Lima's uh, takedown defense is pretty high. We're going to probably go with Lima. Actually, winning this for sure by a uh, decision. Corny ass decision. Corny, corny ass decision. I could be wrong. And that's the reality section as well. Kish! With the Japanese boy bowl cut, baby. What? We got uh, Kish and fucking Ji Yoin Kim. That fire fist. At least she has a nickname. Uh, Kish is going to win this via corny ass decision. Um, unless she just gives up her back to this Asian bowl cut lady. But this lady has nothing on Kish. Nothing. She has nothing for her. Um... Kish is going to like one-sidedly beat the fuck out of her and uh, unless it's a corny ass decision Kish is probably gonna win really quickly We'd love to see a knockout in a fucking uh, flyweight, you know, just to, like to bring these guys in usher them in nicely All right, excuse me. I use some tea tree oil on my face and man this shit stinks yo. I'm lightweight dying from the fumes <laughs> I'm lightweight dying from the fumes Okay, Vink Petchel and Joe Quan Silva. They must have just put a lot of um, Brazilians on here because of Souza. Um, Silva looks better. And I love Anderson. You know, Silva looks better. I'm definitely going to go with my Brazilian, of course. And he looks more marketable. He looks like a perfect wingman. If he was your wingman, you'd get all kind of bitches. All kind of bitches. I'm telling you. It's like impossible. He would get a fat, ugly motherfucker laid. Guaranteed. Um, going for the Brazilian by knockout. What happen reality is he won't win. He'll lose by decision. Nico Price and George Sullivan. Have I seen? I think I've seen Nico Price fight before. I wasn't really too impressed. Um, George Sullivan looks better. He got better tattoos. I'm hoping for a George Sullivan knockout. He is the silencer after all. And finally, Austin Arnett versus Corey Sandigan, aka Noob Sandbot, because they don't got no fucking picture of this motherfucker. Um, and being the fact that I don't know that, I have to go with Austin. Uh, they don't have no stats for this other motherfucker. He must be Bernal. Very, very Bernal. So, um,. Austin, bring it home to the U.S., baby. 
bring it home to the U.S. And that is the UFC Fight Night, Saturday, June 27th. You know I will have a link where you can stream it for free and chat with me and talk shit with me and leave your comments in the comment section we got a whole bunch of other topics that i'm gonna get to today and probably be uploading today meatball.com flex